Instead of enjoying their first week of summer break, heartbroken families in Uvalde, Texas are attending funerals. One week ago today, 19 children and two teachers were killed in their classroom at Robb Elementary School. This that you see on your screen here is the growing memorial where people have been leaving flowers, balloons, messages to remember those victims. Funerals for 11 of the children and one of the teachers killed are planned for this week. Newsy National Correspondent Haley Bull reports live from Uvalde. Haley, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Alex and Jay. One week since the shooting at Robb Elementary School, uh, people are coming together to remember those 19 students and two teachers killed. Visitation and funeral services are scheduled uh, over the next couple weeks, which community members say will be some of the toughest moments here in Uvalde. And the focus uh, is really on helping the families of those victims through that. Now, all Memorial Day weekend, uh, people have poured in from across Texas to honor those 21 lives uh, at two memorial sites, uh, one outside the school, which uh, President Biden visited over the weekend. Uh, there, the barricades have now moved in closer to the building, uh, leaving that memorial uh, more open to the public. Previously, because of uh, the scope of the scene there, people had to hand over flowers over the crime scene tape to law enforcement. Another memorial here in the town square where we are continues to grow. Uh, the holiday weekend we saw people offer food, music, uh, and a lot of prayer. Many of the people we've talked to uh, had some connection to Uvalde, whether they drive through the town, they grew up here. Uh, others had a connection to the victims or were community members or parents uh, from Rob Elementary. Breaks for them because you know we know their families, known them for years, and good people. We're all they're all good people. We're all good people. Just you shouldn't have to worry about sending your child to school worrying if they're gonna come home. That shouldn't be something that goes on in this nation. Meanwhile, the investigation continues as police try to learn more about how and why this happened. We know they have thousands of leads investigators said uh, they were looking into. Uh, and additionally, the Department of Justice said it is also reviewing the law enforcement response. State investigators described more than an hour between when the gunman entered the school uh, and before police entered the classroom where he was while 911 calls were made from inside the room. The mayor uh, who requested this review says he trusts it will be a fair, transparent and independent process uh, and asked for prayers for Uvalde saying it is suffering unimaginable pain as they prepare uh, to bury those 21 victims over the coming weeks. Alex J. Newsy National Correspondent Haley Bull reporting live in Uvalde, Texas. Thank you.